but not mm -hmm. as cold as yesterday morning, but right. it is a cold start to your day today too. Yeah, it is. You're going to need the coat again, so don't be fooled. While the <laughs> afternoon is going to be great this morning, uh, you will definitely need the layers. I do want to quickly talk about Friday. This is our next first alert weather day, just a day that we want you to have on your radar. Moderate impact on your day. We're now starting to get some higher resolution model data in, so we're getting a better idea of the timing. Showers are looking likely for the afternoon. Temperatures are going to stay cool for the most part, only in the 50s, and showers could even linger into Saturday. Day. So we'll talk about all of that coming up in just a couple of minutes here. So stay with me. In the meantime, let's get you ready for the day ahead. It is cold out there, like your rear said, especially in West Georgia. You could see some patchy frost in places like Rome and Carrollton and LaGrange, where temperatures are in the 30s. Most of us are in the 40s, 46 in Atlanta and in Gainesville. Look at Blairsville. Are y'all good up there? It's 29 degrees for the first official day of spring. Wow, you'll need the winter coat for that. 41 in social circle. So as the kids head to the bus stop this morning, clearly it is a cold start. Be sure that they're bundled up. But for the ride home, it's one of those days where you'll be able to take off the layers. You'll want to have a t-shirt underneath everything because look at this, 70 degrees as they make their way home from school or as you're headed to pick them up later today. High temperatures around 5 o'clock or so today will top out in the upper 60s to low 70s. 73 for a high in Atlanta. Now that is spring. Our average high 67. So we'll top out just a few degrees above that. Overnight tonight, lows will be a little bit warmer as well. Overnight lows dropping into the low to mid 40s. You'll still need the jacket as you step out. Now again, we're going to stay dry Thursday, but Friday and Saturday are when we're watching for some rain chances and even next Tuesday as well. Entering into a fairly a wet pattern, it looks like as we head through the next couple of weeks. Let's talk about that. We'll take you through first alert future cast kind of time everything out. What you'll notice tomorrow Tomorrow. Still going to be warm temperatures in the mid 70s, but you'll notice some clouds start to build through the afternoon and evening. Friday morning for your morning commute looks fine. You won't worry about any rain, but here's a look at five o'clock. We'll get these outer bands around a low to kind of move in from south to north. So south of Atlanta, you'll have a very wet commute home and all of that will usher in north through the evening. So if you have any Friday night plans, here's eight o'clock. This is what it's going to look like a very rainy evening. And again, that does extend mainly into Saturday morning. It does look like Saturday afternoon looks drier if you have any plans. Plans. Cool though, with temperatures in the low 60s, much better looking day on Sunday. So if you're already thinking about the weekend, because let's be real, who isn't? Sunday looks a lot better with temperatures in the mid 60s and some more sunshine peeking through. Here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. Beautiful today after our cold start, low 70s, mid 70s tomorrow with increasing clouds through the day. First alert weather day for the widespread evening rain on Friday with some morning showers on Saturday, low 60s, rebounding closer to 70 Sunday. And then we enter into a cooler pattern next week as well. Not only a wet one, but a cooler low 60s Monday, mid 60s with showers returning Tuesday as well. All right, let's